Hello! This is a little video to demonstrate why it's important to replace the plastic drive sprockets on an old vintage skidoo instead of waiting until they fail. I had somebody recently who's on one of the Facebook groups who's purchased an older machine and they're spending a lot of time getting the thing running and I said do the sprockets and they said well why and then they noticed little bits of sprockets on the floor of their garage and a friend of them told them that that's from them running it on a track stand that's absolutely not true their machine in question is a 1969 Nordic the tr sprockets fail because they're 50 year old plastic here's an example of an original sprocket they simply become brittle and they disintegrate uh, I've seen people spend money on that shiny reproduction windshield or hundreds of dollars on you know nice reproduction seat upholstery and then they get a half mile down the trail and uh, they're stuck <laughs> sprocket shred here's the arrangement of them the inner flanges are either welded or swedged to the shaft the outer flanges float this is the recoil side of the machine you have a cup that holds a bearing you have a seal that goes on the shaft the original sprockets are held in place with these rivets I drill the rivets out I replace them with these little quarter 20 zinc plated machine screws I believe I use three quarter inch long ones and I use nylon lock nuts here's a set of rear sprockets that are basically garbage these are about to fail okay and somebody asked well why 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 didn't they make these things out of metal why you know how often do you have to replace them the answer is the replacements are made out of far better material than the original ones were I have yet to have a failure with a set of sprockets I've replaced so spend the money do the sprockets unless somebody has done them before you have and that's all folks <laughs>